This trip has restored my faith in humanity. I had no idea what a rivet was yesterday. <laughs> This is like the best classroom you could ask for. Definitely super sore today. Today I'm the queen of riveters. It just sounded like the trip of a lifetime to me, and it was. <laughs> I am here in Nepal in Jagadabesi on a Give Power trek. This is our inaugural trek, just an incredible opportunity to bring renewables to a village. And in this case, something that's really critical for life, which is just access to fresh water. Give Power has been working in Nepal since 2015. By working a lot in this region, we became aware of this community. <laughs> We started a discussion with this community about using solar electricity to pump water out of the river uphill that will be used for both irrigation and for drinking. The distance from water source to the pumping site is 700 meters. There was so much infrastructure required to put in a water project. So there was a little bit of pressure going into it that we were going to get it all done in time. We got to work on the solar panels down by the river. All the local communities, they, they came to dig the well. And we laid down the pipe. Getting hands on with the technology that I market every day was incredibly humbling. Some of us carry the water tanks um, up the mountain to the top. We ran into quite a few obstacles. We kept trying new things and new things. Gotta figure it out. We were getting a little nervous because we need as well to work. It's not just about like solar or water, it's about income generation. And I think it's great. You know, we really need to make some changes to have a sustainable existence on this planet. This might be a small impact, but you can see how, you know, knowledge and people working together. Yeah, that can be really powerful.